So a company called Time Kettle reached out to me and said, would you like to try our Universal Translator? And I thought, meh, why not? It turns out it could actually save some marriages. Bit of a bit quiet today, you alright, babe? Yes, I'm fine. You, uh, sure you're okay? Yes, I said I'm fine. It is not fine. You are in serious trouble. When the company first told me that they were called Time Kettle, I assumed they were going to send me a device that would allow me to quantum leap through history, putting things right that had once gone wrong, whilst simultaneously making people cups of tea. That's not what it's for. Uh, they have sent me a universal translator which can communicate in 36 different languages, multiple accents, and multiple dialects. It's like Star Trek is actually happening. I only speak one language because I'm a complete ignoramus. Uh, I have a friend at work, however, who speaks fluent Tamil in more than one dialect. So I thought what would be a good idea would be to give him one earpiece, me have the other earpiece, and us have a conversation back and forth, me speaking English and him speaking in Tamil, and he could tell me whether it was any good. He was blown away. Is it still translating now? I still hear the translation clearly. <laughs> this is absolutely awesome. Can't believe I've never heard this before. Me neither. My mum said that it was on a TV show a while ago, but she'd never seen it in real life. I I cannot believe this is very well heard and the translation is very accurate. <laughs> that seemed to be an even longer sentence in your language, but a very short sentence in my language. The WT2 system has three different modes. The first one is called Simul Mode, and you've just witnessed that. That is where you're having a simultaneous conversation between two headsets, and all it does is it listens for a pause in the conversation, and when it hears one, it sends everything it heard. Uh, the second mode is for people that are less comfortable with this kind of technology. It's called Touch Mode, and it is literally a touch mode. Uh, this is where you press on the earpiece whilst you're speaking and you release and it sends the information. So if it's somebody who is likely to keep pausing as they're talking because they're nervous, they can just hold on to it until they're finished speaking and then let go and it will send the information. The final one is speaker mode and speaker mode allows you to use your phone uh, as the microphone so that only one person needs the headset. So you could have them speaking into the phone and the translation coming through on the earpiece to allow more than one person to speak to that individual. That's the three modes. When I first opened the case and gave one of the earpieces to Singaram, the first thing he said was, this looks like a premium product. That's because it is. Um, this is not a cheap device and it shows throughout everything that you experience. It is a physically beautifully crafted piece of kit, not only to look at, but its physical construction is such that it's got a microphone to listen to you, but also a microphone to listen to the outside world so it knows what not to listen to. Amazing! The battery life of the earpieces is five hours, which is loads of time to have any conversation. Stop talking so much. 
Uh, the charging case will give you 15 hours because it actually holds 15 hours worth of electricity itself. So when you put them back in the case, even if the case isn't connected to the mains, it starts charging the earpieces, which is awesome. I only know one Singaram. I don't have loads of people that know loads of different languages, so I couldn't put this thing through its paces with other humans. So what I did was I found a YouTube video that was teaching people Japanese. That way I would be able to put the Japanese through the translator using speaker mode and then see if it translated correctly to what they were telling me the translation should be in the YouTube video. It worked. Check this out. A woman at a bookstore asks a clerk. I'm sorry. I would like to see a book on that shelf. Which book? It is a car book. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this? Yes. Yes, it is. This wouldn't be a very balanced review if I didn't tell you about some of the things it doesn't do quite so well. Time travel. There's no time travel at all. Don't call yourselves Time Kettle and get me all excited and then not give us time travel. Uh, in all honesty, there's like nothing to complain about with this device. It claims to have 85% translation accuracy, and I actually think that's really modest. I think... If you're not thinking about what you're going to say and you kind of jabber on and you um and you are ah and you pause too long, then it tends to pick up the beginning of what you're saying without context and then try and translate it. And I think that's when you get your 85%. I think actually, if you think about what you're going to say and then you say it, it's more like 98% accuracy. Me and Sangaram were able to have a fluent conversation and even when we weren't sort of giving it any thought, we could understand what each other was trying to say. This thing is really, really good. The only other negative thing I can say is that this thing currently, currently requires an internet connection. Time Kettle are working on this as we speak, so soon it will be all encompassed within your mobile phone, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I have an internet connection all the time anyway, so this doesn't bother me. But if it does bother you, it won't bother you for long, because they're fixing it. You might be thinking, well, why do I need this? And the answer is, Maybe you don't. Um, it's only going to be, of course, useful to people who would like to translate on a regular basis. So it's going to be super awesome for anyone who goes away on business trips a lot. Uh, it's going to be great for people that work in healthcare. So anybody who works in healthcare will tell you it's really difficult to understand what is wrong with a person uh, or what a person wants if you can't speak in their language. And it costs hundreds and hundreds of pounds to get a translator in to do that. Uh, these things are going to be absolutely awesome for that reason. Um, they're going to be great for people who regularly go on holiday to lots of different destinations. My boss would benefit from this enormously because she is trying to visit every country in the world and she travels alone. Um, you will know if this is for you, and if it's not, I'm sorry, I wasted 10 minutes of your life. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. As usual, there are links in the description if you want to buy this thing, it costs this much money. And honestly, if you're saying that's expensive, it's only because you haven't physically held these things in your hands and stuffed them into your ears and listened to them working. They are physically brilliant and they are worth every penny of that if this is something that is of value to you. If you want to translate stuff, that is a lot cheaper than an interpreter, and it definitely, definitely works, I can assure you. Uh, that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. Dinging the bell will tell YouTube you want to see some more of this guy and actually know about it when he posts videos, because it will notify you. Uh, these amazing people are my patrons from Patreon, and you can help make these videos a possibility, just like they do, at Patreon, uh, or you can buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will love you forever. Uh, come and hang out with me on social media, at all the Facebooks and the Twitters and Instagrams, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Right, I need to get serious. Right? What's my motivation? Hmm? What's my motivation? I don't know. What's that from? I don't know. Acting. Okay, wait. It's like my mouth's like this. <laughs> Do a more comedically over-the-top scowl.
<laughs> yes, I'm five. <laughs> you put the English one in your ear. That's bollocks. <laughs> Try again. I thought I was going to be able to quantum leap my way through history, putting things wrong. Ah, putting things wrong. That would be a terrible superhero. <laughs> uh, if you are less comfortable with the technology, you can use... <laughs> the actual physical... Physical... <laughs>